Hi, my name is Rogelio Fontes, and I'll be talking about e-cigarettes today. So, I'd like to see a show of hands on how many of you have tried e-cigarettes? You know, be honest. A lot of you, yes. <laughs> and, but how many of you have tried actual cigarettes? Not many of you, I bet. So, smokers today have tried to solve their cigarette addiction with e-cigarettes. But, are e-cigarettes really the way to go? So, e-cigarettes make people actually more dependent to nicotine than cigarettes. Uh, our normal jewel plot contains 5% nicotine, but that's uh, as much nicotine as a pack of cigarettes. And most people don't smoke 5% nicotine, they go higher because they want more. And electronic cigarettes are easier to use and therefore use more. You see people walking around campus ripping their cigarettes all the time and you see huge clouds. It's, it's a common sight. And uh, e-cigarettes are used by minors a lot. They're really accessible to minors. So on average, in 2015, one in every high school kid, I mean one in every four high school kids uh, used an e-cigarette. And 37% of seniors have tried vaping according to that survey you do when you are in high school. Uh, and many online sites don't ask for an ID to purchase cigarettes. And I've seen that myself. I ordered things online and got them delivered to school and nobody checks an ID. Uh, electronic cigarettes are potentially more dangerous. Uh, and from 20, 2009 to 2016, there were at least 195 incidents in which an e-cigarette caught fire or exploded in the one you were hitting it. And there are actually no regulations that apply to the safety of, or the mechanics of the batteries in the e-cigarettes. So any company can make any battery and sell it and nobody regulates that. Uh, e-cigarettes contain other chemicals that can be worse and just as, ha are just as are harmful as the ingredients in cigarettes. Uh, the juice, which, you, um, which is burnt, contains some um, propylene, glycol, glycerin, contains um, a high number of chemicals that affect your body in many ways. And honestly, uh, me, um, I used to smoke cigarettes in high school, and I stopped. But vaping was just as harmful in my own experience because vaping contains a much higher percentage of nicotine than cigarettes. And people normally feel nauseous when they hit nicotine, and they get what is called today nicked. Um, that's the goal to do, but I've had friends who, while smoking that, end up vomiting or have really bad um, side effects. And, uh, yeah, don't do be cigarettes, guys. Thank you. Well, at the beginning, you're rushing uh, your your sentences. I wasn't even sure what you were saying at first. I, I I remember looking at your outline now and thinking about e-cigarettes. Okay, I thought you were saying e-series, and I thought it was a gaming speech. I thought, what the hell is he talking about? Uh, fortunately, I, I caught up pretty quickly because you did use the term e-cigarette a little bit as you were getting to the proposition. So you need to pace yourself a little bit at the beginning of the speech so that we can absorb what you're saying. Sometimes I know the anxiety kicks in and people are, you know, they're in a rush to get into what they're doing, and I think that that's probably what happened here. Uh, your proposition is pretty clearly identified, uh, but 
I do think that there are some issues here that need to be explained. Um, your argument seems to be that uh, e-cigarettes should not be used uh, as a uh, substitute for cigarettes or as a way to uh, quit smoking. Um, those are kind of policy claims. If you could argue that it doesn't work or that it has a counterproductive effect, that would be a little bit uh, more in line with what we're looking for. There's not a preview of what the supporting structure is going to be, and it feels like we're going over the same material a couple of times uh, when we're talking about the amount of nicotine delivered by e-cigarettes versus those delivered by uh, traditional tobacco products. And we don't really get much explanation about what the percentages mean. Um, you, you have this idea at one point that you're talking about uh, smoking to get nicked. In other words, you, you want to hit a point that I guess gets you enough satisfaction that it makes you sick to your stomach. Uh, that seems like a strange goal to have, but the world's full of strange goals. So I, I appreciate the goal, but I'm not exactly sure how we measure that or how we know that that is in fact what's going on here. And is it easier to get that with the e-cigarettes than it is with the traditional cigarettes? That seems to be part of the argument, and I don't get a lot of comparative data on that. There, there, I didn't hear a lot of sources. The closest you came to a specific source was, you know, that survey that we all have to take. And that was the source citation. And I don't know what that survey is. So um, you need to be a little bit more precise about citing your information. Uh, there, there was a statistic there that I thought was pretty effective at proving your point that there is, in fact, kind of a trend toward these e-cigarettes, that uh, they're addressing issues or people are using them as a substitute for cigarettes. That's okay. The personal examples and observations are okay, but you, I think, you, like I said, you need to have some more data to go along with those points. Maybe there's not as much data as we need to have. You make a reference to all the additional chemicals that might be found in e-cigarettes, but there, again, there's no source on that particular uh, point, and uh, how dangerous those chemicals are is not really explained. Then randomly, uh, there's an argument also about the number of injuries that occur because of these kinds of products. And then there's an argument about the fact that they're not regulated and that anybody can, you know, do whatever they want with the batteries in the in these situations. And I think there is a safety issue that needs to be identified, but all of this has to be coalesced a little bit more into an argument. Now, as I recall, uh, your outline had a pretty good structure to it. It just feels like it didn't translate to the speech. So I'm not sure that you don't have a structure. I'm just sure that it didn't come out in the speech. So this is one of those things that maybe a little bit more practice would have addressed. All right. Thank you.